in Potomac, it's not about who you know. It's who you are, and I'm everything. Got you a gift, though. It's a lovely gift. You're gonna love it. Why don't you open it? Five rules of etiquette when attending a birthday party. <laughs> I don't have a problem with Giselle. I actually like her, but she's irritating. Okay. And don't have to look in this mirror and, and move their fake hair left and right to feel better about themselves. It's, I'm just saying, check your You have nothing to do with this. I don't no, know. No, no, check I don't know you the baby. She, right, right, I'm not right, your right. baby. Who is this man? Don't you help? You don't tell the guests to shut up. I, mean, I was given a crazy gift. Crazy gift, crazy person. Possibly. Crazy behavior. Possibly. Karen, you didn't say it was a joke. Excuse me. You're a joke, first of all. <laughs> Behaving that way at my birthday party. Talked about the fact that you and Michael do the pull-out method. I suggest you let him stay in. Ejaculate. Procreate. You act like Michael was really trying to get in your panties that night, okay? <laughs> what you act like? <laughs> You're very judgmental. Baby, I'm only judging what you give me. Point. But that's not what happened, Karen. He well, called he you a man. He did like this. He did no. like this. But why did he do that? Because he called you a because man. This is clearly a woman, honey. You guys know I'm capable of choosing many choice words. Calling yes. him the help was the best thing I could do. So now you understand. I understood from the beginning, Robin. I didn't need a lesson in love, and okay. you can't teach it. Okay. On that note, Karen, I think I spend more on this boat than your net worth. And I need to party with. <laughs> I read your net worth, but I think that's Eddie's net worth, honey. You know, just for me, I'm like, that sounds a little backward. To be honest, and I, I said this, I don't mean to be rude, but I really don't care what you think. Karen is debt-free and loaded. Back got to make millions to owe millions. Okay. Trust and believe. Nobody Trust is. and believe, and I do. Talking about me behind my back, that just further fuels me that you all are backstabbing batches. No, you are backstabbers, and you want me to open up to you. Okay, let's see how much sense that makes. None. How are you just gonna leave like that? Easily. Anyway, you know, I mean, I can live anywhere I want. I can live anywhere and be fabulously Karen Huber. And you are by yourself, by the way, in Hanover. Where the f is Hanover? That's all I'm saying. Where is it? Is that a dig? What, was Great Falls a dig, baby? I don't give a s where you live. I, and I don't care about you, but you in Hanover by yourself. Way by yourself. Are you being indicted at all? <laughs> Did no Michael question. get indicted for his dingling swinging across Instagram? No. I don't believe everything I read. But if you want to act like you believe everything you read, Ashley, your man up there meeting people in London through the grinder, you buying him Cartier gifts and obviously he ain't buying him enough because he talking. You must have been cheap, Michael. Free Karen. What is that? Hey, Uncle Ben. Tax reform. Oh. Giselle, you tacky as hell. Well, I'm, I'm happy you're here. Great. You've been looking very nice these days. I've been looking nice all my life. Mm. You were malicious, you were hurtful, and you were absolutely wrong, and it was gutter ball trash. But I'm happy, because I got my friend back. Don't rub me. I'm happy, but at the same time, no girl, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, listen. Oh, we good, we good, look. Okay. No, 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 hold no. on, I, hold on, damn it, it's hard. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. May I, may I, may I? In 20 years of wearing wigs, trust and believe I know how to lock it down. Robin? <laughs> Shut the up. Robin, you are the dizziest bitch sitting at the table. The dizziest you what? Bitch. Oh. What so you've never been physical? But Ashley, has Michael been physical with that man in London? So what are you doing and why? Robin and I would like to talk to you. We don't want to talk to you in front of your guests. We, it's not going to happen. Have a situation Security, on. I want them out because their heart is not in the right place. I came in here with raggedy jeans on. You're leaving? You're running? I don't run, I walk love. You're and all you do is backstab people. You need to change, Giselle. Don't come and show your ass at my events. You did. You no, look stupid as sure shit. You in your used I... Liberace jacket. Why would you my, do that? My jacket was very, my Kabbalah jacket was very pretty. It's, it's gorgeous and it should be worn twice, but not, yes. not in the same year. Ashley, my marriage is an institution, okay? Yours is a fake the world situation, okay? <laughs> You look so broke bye, version bye, of Tina bye, Knowles. Bye, bye. Oh, you were no broke. Your husband not only kicked your ass out, he moved you a mile down the street from your sweat box and put your ass in the studio. You take your fake marriage and ram it up your ass, okay? Your husband always crying when he around you. You make it miserable. 
I leave my institution alone. It's well established. Yeah. You sneak into situations, get close, so you can get some information and go put a fake oh, news spin on it. I'm done of, with your ass, there okay? There are a lot of, all you know how to do is bullshit and make up and stuff. Like, I have nothing to lie about. Yeah, I didn't but, make that up. But yeah, you wanna- If Ashley attacks my family again, I will sue her for a restaurant and give it to her mother. Keep all dark spirits out of it, including Giselle as she comes to this front door. Amen, hold on, it went out. See, G Giselle is dark, hold on. Are you saging me? Yes, I am. I'm binding you in the name of Jesus. You look really good, Giselle, but Thank we don't you. know. Looks are deceiving. <laughs> Shouldn't I be welcomed all over the hell? No, you had a year of f***ing up, so no. It's, it's, no. It's, Potomac is small. I'm not surprised that they're not together. Nobody in Potomac is surprised that they're not together. I think Sherman left the party before Giselle did. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. I told you. People call me. I shop in the same place as the Sherman shops in. It wasn't Giselle that was with him in Saks. We good? Talk. Have, and everybody's supposed to bow down. Oh, I can't talk about it. Karma is a bitch, honey. Here, but uh, the IRS and stuff You, like you know what? And, so and clank de clank. Clank de clank. Really? The bar soap? Yeah. You might want to help your husband. Let's deal with that dry mop on your head, Giselle. You've been wearing for two years. Get a new one. Even I got a new one, see? <laughs> Wendy and I, we've been at events together. We sat on a board together, and I'm not impressed. Giselle and Monique are chummy chummy. But I just hope Giselle's fashion sense don't rub off on Monique. Thank God Giselle is a good looking woman, cause goddamn, she can't dress at all. I'm ashamed to be seen with her sometime, to be honest. I don't know what she gonna wear. I gotta hear they talked about Giselle's clothes. You have an exception or a title on? Are you afraid of what you might say when you drink? No, I'm not. But you should be concerned about what Juan says when he's drunk. Oh, if I can't remember. Robin needs to worry about what her man is doing when he's drinking. I'm just saying. What is he doing when he's drinking? Just the couch. I hope I don't have to use it. Monique is always welcome. My damn party. Anybody I want. So then why isn't she here right now? Because you are uncomfortable with her and I care enough about you not to set your ass up. You all right? Receive that. How you leaving the party and we still this here, Karen? Bye-bye, honey. I paid the bill. you. Karen, how would you describe <laughs> Giselle's style? A mess. It's a hot mess. And she knows it, though. I say this, girl. Giselle. You are you a that? very beautiful woman. I, but absolutely. your taste sucks. How would you describe your decor? I just like things I, that I like, and it all works together. Or not. Um, together? Karen, you don't live in my home. Oh, praise the Lord, I've no. never invited no. Congratulations for Karen. Her Geritol <laughs> just kicked in. Yep, it did. It did. Praise the Lord. Okay. Oh, the Geritol pick. Put it again, Wendy. Ageism? A Ageism. Thank okay. you, sweetheart. You Whatever it is, your old ass is 50 uh, okay, years old, okay? okay? So stop and, acting and like you are 25 or 30. No. And when you I, go, I like, did, don't even oh do it. Don't you, even do Karen, it. You don't do stop. it. She took Geritol at 6 a.m. We are good. We are good. <laughs> we are so good.